So after the creation of the vendor, the suppliers, our next step is that we need to create the purchase order. Right? We need to create purchase order for this supplier, which is Red Ferry. Okay, so by default, that purchase order or sale order option that is not enabled, that is not active. The sale order and the purchase order features they are not active by default in a company whenever you are creating a new company in Delhi or benign. So these are two inventory features, right? So you need to go in F11 to activate the purchase order and sale orders, right? So click on this features and, and in the feature that is not accounting feature that is an inventory features, right? So we go in inventory, enter and then in inventory we have this option order processing and it said that enable purchase order processing you want to enable your purchase orders so I'm going to make this option yes and you want to enable the sale order processing so I'm going to make this option yes clear then we have you want to uh, enable this feature that is use tracking number enable delivery and receipt notes right so I'm gonna make this option also yes and uh, clear right so what we did we enable the purchase order and sale order feature plus we activated we enable the tracking numbers right if you want to send delivery notes to your customers right or if you are issuing this receipt notes then you need to use these tracking numbers clear right and then control a to save when you save it right this additional voucher information will appear here if you look in your laptop you don't have this order vouchers go back if you check on your main screen on gateway of Delhi, we don't have this order vouchers here, right? Because that purchase order and sale order option that features are not enabled. So that's why it is without this order vouchers. But once you activated those features, then this order voucher will appear here. So our first step is that we need to create a purchase order in Delhi RB9. Yeah? So how to create this now? So we are going to issue the purchase order for Red Ferry. So we need to go where? It's a transaction, right? So we go in our order vouchers, enter, and then in order voucher, by default, this sale order is open, right? But right now, we need to record the purchase orders. So what is the short key? That is all F4 because there is a single one underline, right? So when you click on this purchase order, this will open. So this is our first purchase order. That is a system donated number range, right? So what is a party name? So party name is Red Ferry. Enter. And when you press enter, that, that is the supplier detail, which you enter in the master information in the master record. This will come. Enter. Enter. It's in UA, Dubai. That is the TRA number and more terms of payment that is 90 days if you want to give any other reference you can give any other reference you can mention the terms of delivery right then receipt details dispatched through a car through ship through a plane that is coming through by courier or what that is a dispatch through mm -hmm. and destination is the location of your warehouse of your storeroom you need to enter that right and then enter. When you press enter, it will move to the next window now. Okay, so that is your order number. Let's assume it. The order number is 170. Right? And then press enter. Now, what you are doing, this is purchase ledger. So that is a 
purchase right so select the purchase account enter and then name of items what are the items you are ordering so we are ordering keyboard mouse cpu monitor hard disk and mobile unit let me check that do we have this stock in our system yes okay so first we have keyboard so you're gonna enter uh, keyboard unit price uh, 20 keyboards we're gonna order and the price is 30 so the item name is keyboard enter right that is due on that whatever the date is like what when you want they will deliver you the items right enter what is the quantity how much is the quantity the quantity is 20 enter and what is the price the price is 30 enter 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 any other item no this is for this look this is what item allocation for the keyboard only so you already enter the keyboard quantity and the price so nothing else so press enter and enter so it will move to the next line item so next is what mouse so we don't have the mouse here okay let's suppose i'm gonna enter here tv enter enter so tv is let's assume it 20 that is 550 enter 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 save it and then let's suppose we're gonna order after the tv we're gonna we are going to order let's suppose uh, tires enter enter 20 pieces right enter that is the price enter enter right so this is related with this item tire clear enter and now look if i want to enter another item look at the cursor right now it is here the cursor right now it is here please focus now if i press enter it will move here and from this is what from here you can select inventory another inventory right but now i want to apply the vat the tax so this one is for inventory and if you want to go into the ledgers so you need to press another enter enter this line is for ledger so here i'm going to apply the vat right the before this one the line is for inventory now this one is for the ledgers right so you need to select the ledger when you press enter automatically calculates the amount of vat right so the total invoice amount is how much 38430 right enter 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 you can describe that uh, description purchase order issued to red berry on 1st january 2019 right clear yeah. now here we have another option which is called this tax analysis right if you click on this tax analysis and click on i want to check this in detail right so if you click on this detail it will show us that keyboard how much you ordering the keyboard the total amount is 600 right and the vat rate is 5 so how much vat you are paying against this keyboard you are paying 30 dirham you order uh, this uh, tv the purchase value of tv is 11000 but how much VAT you are paying against the TV? 550. You ordered tires. The total amount is 25,000. So how much you are paying again the VAT against these tires? 1,250. So the total VAT you are paying 1,830. That is the VAT amount. Clear? Right? And then you can press escape key. It will go back to the same window press enter enter and save it so this is how you will create a purchase order in tally rp9 any question you can do that you have any questions